an investment property, it's only for the wealthy, right? Wrong. It may be more achievable um, than you think. All oh, those nasty landlords to bust some common misconceptions about property investment. Uh, Debbie Roberts from Property Apprentice uh, joins me now. G'day, Debbie. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Yeah, they get a bad rap, don't they? Oh, look, you know, don't feel sorry for us. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just think that there's some common misconceptions out yeah. there that I wanted to get across. One of the biggest ones which really irritates me is when people talk about property investors and speculators being yes. one and the same. Yes. Two totally different things. What's the difference? So a speculator is someone who's bought a house with the intention of selling it. Quick back, yep. Yeah, so they're called traders or property flippers. Mm. And um, the biggest difference there is that people who buy with the intention of selling, mm. they have to pay GST and tax on the profit. And, they, and we do catch up with them? Absolutely, The yeah. bright line test has, has got them, hasn't it? Oh, more than the bright line test. Yes. So even before the bright line test, yes. it still triggers GST and tax on profit. So bright line doesn't trigger GST. And have we been good at intention? Get, does anyone slip through the gaps in that? That's why bright line has worked right. so well, because bright line and catches the people that didn't know yes. about GST. Yes. <laughs> Oh, we just didn't know. Yeah, About fifteen exactly. percent on that purchase. Exactly. Okay. So it makes a big difference. Have, have these flippers? So that's what they. they flipping these. Properties, have they left the market mainly, or are they, no. are they back? They're no, back. it's made no difference to property traders and and flippers who do it as a business. Right. So, you know, like any other business, they pay GST and tax on profit. On profit. Right. Property investors are in it for the long long term. Right. And their major aim is what? I mean, what's, what's a property investor? A property investor wants yield. I suppose. Property investor buys based on the numbers. So yeah. We're buying for for um, a number of different reasons, um, mostly yield because we're looking for some passive income by the time we retire. So, so how does that work for people that understand that? Yeah, so um, property investment's a long-term game. You know, we buy based on the numbers. So this is the other misconception is that property investors push house prices up and yeah. compete with home buyers. No, we don't. Home buyers buy, buy based on emotion. Yes, which pushes up prices. Absolutely. So we always have to buy based on the numbers, you know, and if, if the rental return's not high enough, then we don't buy that property. You don't want to pay too much at all. Exactly. <laughs> so we often end up buying property properties that the home buyers don't want because they need a bit of work done to them and the home buyers are using up all of their deposit to yes. fund the purchase of the house. What so sort of return do you do you look for? So it depends on the individual situation. So, you know, what, what a person looks for in a rental property mm. is determined by what their long-term goal is, you know, what they want to achieve out mm. of investing, but what their starting financial position is because you don't have to be wealthy. But no, no, no. Well, I mean, largely, you find the property investment it can make you <laughs> cash poor because you're always forking out money. See, only if you've bought the wrong sort of investment property. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> That's what they say, after you own several properties, you're going to sit back and enjoy watching the profits roll in. Hey, well, Not true. <laughs> sometimes it's true. It, de it depends on whether you've bought the right ones for you. So this is this is why our job's so much fun, you know, because it's different for everybody. Mm. There is no such thing as a one-size-fits-all when it comes to property. What's the greatest misconception for you, Mark, when it comes to this discussion well, with property because you, you own a flat. It, it, it's exactly that is is that you know you sit back and the money's coming in you're not being taxed there's no expense you see all easy money and you sell it's getting more easy money with no tax no quite often if you're you know the mum and dad investor which is exactly what I am now um, you are just shelling out money you are paying tax and every dollar that's coming in you you are just hoping you are hoping at the end of it that you get an opportunity to sell at the right time and if you, you might get this back. Yeah, now, now if that's you decide that, to it, sell, because not all property yeah, investors not. sell. And that's, that's my question. Do you want to sell? Not necessarily. So, you know, there's there's a large number of buy and hold investors who've mm. bought purely for, for cash flow. And so they never intend on selling those properties. They pay those mortgages down. Like this is the thing with, with property investors, most property investors in New Zealand are middle income earners. They're not wealthy people. They're just trying to make their retirement a bit better um, financially or trying to improve their financial position for their families and their future generations. Yeah, do you know much about commercial property investment? Commercial property investment's a whole different ball game to residential. So I'm told, but I don't know why. Yeah, it's significantly different. So that, oh gosh, that's like, I could talk an hour on that subject <laughs> oh. alone. Have, have, have we got How much that? time have we got? <laughs> <laughs> Not that much. But, but there's huge money in it, isn't there? In commercial, yes. yeah, so there's, there is um, good returns. Yes. There's also potentially higher risk Incolapse. because everyone needs somewhere to live, yes. but they don't necessarily ah. need somewhere to run a business right. out of. Yep. So it is risk. Hey, um, great to see you. Nice to see Always you. Always really interesting. Um, up next, Debbie Roberts from uh, Property Press.